Hey guys, we are on beer review number 99. Uh, I don't know anything about this beer. It's called Elder Pine Dying on the Forest Floor. So, um, that doesn't sound real good. <laughs> I have no idea what this beer is. Um, Elder Pine is, is like a box of chocolates. You really, you really don't know what you're going to get with these beers. Um, I mean, the can, it, it has some pine, like some pine trees on the can. So I'm guessing maybe it's like a piney IPA. Um, what does it say? Hold on. Dying on the forest floor. Tri okay, triple IPA. So this is a triple IPA. But I don't know if it's going to be like a West Coast IPA or like, ooh, I, I have no idea what this beer is going to be. Uh, so we're just going to crack into it. Excited to try it. I always give it a stir. Alright, there's a nice head on it. Yeah, look at that head. That's that's wild looking. It's very uh thick. Alright, so uh the, the beer looks really good. It looks hazy. It um it's a beautiful color. Wow, look at that. It's like perfect. It's like a perfect, it's like a beautiful, perfect IPA morning. Look at that. Oh man, that's great. It's like a yellowish. This is beautiful. Huh. Not getting too much in the smell department. Let me let this foam settle a little bit. Get a little shake in it. It does smell a little piney. I'm also getting some grapefruit. Grapefruit and pine. That's all I really smell out of this. Maybe a little tiny, tiny bit of mango. A little bit of mango. I'm excited to see what this tastes like because it, it smells, it, it doesn't really smell in the smell that I got from the last IPA that we tried last Friday. It was really strong. Like I, I knew exactly what it smelled like, but this one I'm kind of questioning what it smells like because the smell is not very strong. And I don't know if it's because the, the head is so thick on it. I mean, that head is like thick. I mean, not thick as in like a lot of head, but thick as in like the density of the head. The bubbles are very small. So it's, um, yeah, I'm excited to try it. I'm just going to go for it. Mm. Wow, definitely wasn't what I was expecting it to taste like. That is weird. Yeah, I'm getting kind of like it, it. It does have the um, the IPA taste to it. It has the IPA flavor of uh, you know grapefruit and everything. But I'm getting something else, and I just I just can't put my freaking finger on it. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because this is freezing cold or what. So I'm getting like a pine sap taste. So the pine comes after the beer, after or after the IPA taste. The IPA taste is um, it's it's like a it's like a grapefruit with a little bit of like maybe even passion fruit in there, um, and and uh, some mango. It's very tropical. But the backbone of this beer, like so, what comes after it is like a sappy, sappy like bitter west coast taste so up front and this beer is it's it's very um it's it's medium bodied um it's very it's 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 very light for a triple it's not very heavy it's very easy to drink too i'm not getting zero booze on this zero booze um it's really weird because um when i taste it i get that juicy tropical ipa and then it dissipates and fades into a West Coast IPA that I've never ever drank a beer like that before. And with um, with with uh, Elder Pine, it's like a box of freaking chocolates, man. I'm telling you, if you drink Elder Pine, you know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're gonna get in the Elder Pine. And 
when you get it, it's, it, it surprises the shit out of you. And you're like, what the hell did I just drink? And it, it changes. Some, sometimes I drink Elder Pine. And it changes the way I think about beer. And this is a prime example of one of those beers where you're just like, what just happened? Like, <laughs> it's so awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to rate this beer high. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it an 89 out of a hundred. Um, it's, it's very, very, very good. Uh, so, an Elder Pine, sometimes I, I say it's a hit or miss, and it really w is what it is. I mean, um, sometimes I get a really good beer, and sometimes I don't from Elder Pine, and uh, this is definitely a hit. It's, just, it's really, really good. All right, let's try to read this can here. The writing is super small, so bear with me. Uh, Dying on the Forest Floor, triple IPA. Hops is Simico, Citra, and Sultana. Grist is... Pale Pilsner Spelt Rye Flate Wheat Golden Oat hmm. One Pint Ale 10% Alcohol Woohoo! Okay, so this has 10% alcohol and it, it is like it is like hidden deep 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 down below like you don't even know that um, Be careful if you get this beer it is crucial brewed and canned by Elder Pine um, this case, So these guys are based out of Gaithersburg or Gaithersburg, Maryland So they're only like 25 miles south of where I live like not that far away uh, There's a government warning and that's it. It really doesn't there's no description or anything on the can. That's when life's a little crazy, get yourself a little elder pine um, hazy and stay there and see my friends. Uh, I um, I'm post dating this video, so I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna post date it to after my birthday. So as you're watching this video, I'm now 40 years old. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, <laughs> take it easy. I'll see you very soon. Um, I know I, I I've been slim on the uh, postings for the last two weeks, but I promise I will have more videos, uh, more reviews coming your way. Cheers. Peace.